everyone, this is Christy with the Clouds by Christy blog here, another episode of Pretty Little Liar Style Reactions. So, who else watched this week's episode? So much has been happening jam-packed in all of these episodes, plus we're past the halfway mark, so things are finally starting to make sense, or so we think. But the fashion was phenomenal, so let's get right on to our style reactions for Season 6, Episode 16, Where Somebody Waits For Me. First, let's take a look at Spencer's looks. Spencer's wearing this simple Jason Wu polo dress with a thin black belt. This looks great on her. It's a casual dress and almost looks like it's tennis or athletic inspired, so it has a really preppy look. She kept her accessories simple with just her black Apple Watch. I love this zipper and collar detailing. I think this is what makes me feel like it's an athletic inspired outfit. I'm not sure if it's something I would wear, but I think it looks great on her. Next up is my personal favorite for this episode, and that's Hannah. I love this fabulous white lace top. The large sheer lace print gives it a romantic baroque style, and I love the loose fit of it. The silhouette of the bell sleeves with the crop top length is absolutely perfect. Hannah paired this fabulous top with a pair of 7 for all mankind culotte jeans. What a fabulous way to wear culottes. I never know how to wear these, but this is a great example. These Giuseppe Zanetti heels are so much fun. The front half is a polka dot print and the back half is leopard print. I wouldn't have thought these two prints would be a good combo, but I think it works here. Next up is our funky girl, Aria. At a first glance, I loved this look on Aria. She's wearing a bright coral two-piece ASOS crop top and ankle trouser combination. Two-piece outfits are still really in, and I love the idea of a crop top with trouser pants. The best part? It's affordable. Aria paired this two-piece with a fabulous yellow moto jacket from Nordstrom. I love this jacket. I simply can't resist a fabulous jacket, plus this color looks great on her. I said that I liked this two-piece at a first glance because when she took the jacket off and I got a better look at it, it really wasn't flattering. The fit and color just doesn't suit her. Aria accessorized with the Shoptique Santiago Statement Necklace. I always love a bold statement. Next is our casual and edgy Emily. I haven't been crazy about Emily's style this season, but I think she knocked it out of the park this week. For her first look, she's wearing a Free People mock neck party top. It's interesting because she's wearing this tunic as a dress, but I think it looks great. She paired it with this top shop sleeveless faux leather biker jacket. I love the leather vest look, and I think it looks great with this boho dress. For Emily's second look, she's wearing a Sun Graphic tank paired with these Haute Hippie leather skinny pants in Bordeaux. Emily is really into leather this season. I love the look of leather pants and I think she wears it well. And last but not least, it's Allison. Allie wore this white midi dress. I love the embroidered detailing on the top. The dress itself is okay, but I think I might like it more if it was styled differently. She accessorized with this Club Monaco leather moto jacket. I love the jacket, but it doesn't look quite right with this dress. I can't put my finger on exactly why. I love this pink lipstick on her. The shade is perfect with her complexion and the color palette of this look. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you liked our video this week, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Plus, leave a comment below with your style reactions from this week's episode because we'd love to hear what you guys think. And follow us on Twitter because we're going to be live tweeting during the new episode of Pretty Little Liars this week, Tuesday at 8pm. See you guys then!